Hi, this is Melissa from SoCo Survey, and if you have new customers or you'd like to have more new customers, this conversation is for you. It's important to know if your customers are getting off to a strong start. So a new customer survey will cover the basics here today, from rationale and template to best practices and results, and a few advanced options. Of course, if your new customers aren't happy, they're not going to be your customers for long. So churn, retention, all of those keywords and concerns that we think about start from the very beginning. Knowing that you um, are looking forward to measuring your success with your customers over a long term, hopefully, um, understanding how they start is a great way to figure out how they'll go on. So knowing that, for example, customer effort score is a really strong metric to start with to find out how hard or easy, hopefully, it is to be your customer. When you have good news, that's great. Keep it up, keep up the good work, keep up what you're doing. It reinforces what you're doing. Um, but bad news, we find that out too, and it's better to find that out soon so you can take care of it quickly. Um, a nice looking template here we have in our Sogo CX bank. You can start with it as it is or customize it. First off, a nice welcome message. And then the key question here, customer effort score. The company made it easy for me to meet my needs. So not I as a customer, but you as a company. What did you as a company do in order to make this easier for me to be able to uh, meet my needs? So the next question here then, of course, once somebody selects it, hopefully they said yes, so they agree that it was very helpful, very easy to meet their needs. Um, the follow-up question is framed positively. Glad to hear it. What worked best? Of course, if it's negative, we're looking for areas for improvement. Um, the next question here on the next page, two short pages. How did you learn about us? great for communication, marketing efforts, um, concerns. Definitely, if they have any questions or concerns, do they know how to find out the answers to those questions? Of course, if they don't, that's a good opportunity to figure out um, how to encourage and include that information earlier in your process, but also to address those right now. So if they have any questions, give them the opportunity straight out to let them know what those, let you know what those questions are. Um, and also, if they want follow-up, they can take care of it just right away. Of course, a nice thank you message. Best practices, make sure that you are, when you're looking at the, um, looking at that communication question, include more channels than you might expect. That's a really good one. Um, when you're also talking about the informative comments, show those only to people who <laughs> make sure that you are, um, those people who don't know how to get help, consider showing them here's how, a link to your user guide, a link to your support options, QDL is a good way to set up that show hide rule. Distribution is a really important piece here in your best practices too. Timing is always everything. Um, so think about when it is that they get it, if it's too soon or if it's too late, or hopefully just right. Make it beautiful. Of course, we know that's a really important piece from the very beginning. Build that recognition um, from the start. And again, make sure that all of your questions are insightful. If you're going to add more, make sure that they're important not just, it would be nice to have. You want to set that positive tone that you're regularly going to be checking in with them and not overwhelming them. When you look at reports, of course, you're going to see that overall customer effort score question. You can break it down by um, a data table after graphs. You can also look at statistics. And hopefully, this trend, once you get started, will continue to move upward. Looking at open-ended responses, of course, you're going to be able to see a word cloud and verbatims. How you first learned about us, you can, of course, this should be a single select question. Here, online search is winning. Hopefully, you're going to see more yes than no in this one. A nice little stacked bar graph, make it simple. Um, and then that open-ended response at the end. Questions you can answer. In addition, of course, anybody who is looking for feedback, you just need their actual details. Some advanced options here. Demographic questions that you've pre-filled are very, very helpful because you understand a little bit more um, about that customer without them um, having to fill it in. Distribution being integrated, maybe with a CRM, maybe when that deal is closed, for example, this email goes out directly to them or after a certain amount of delay, if you prefer. And a good looking dashboard customer effort, of course, it looks like it's consistent on this dashboard. We certainly want um, the effort, again, the effort here when it goes up, that means that we're doing better here because the customer effort score measures how good of a job we're doing as a company to make it easier for our customers to get what they need. Uh, of course, when you have new customers who are happier, they're going to stick around much longer. And we would invite you to take a look at Sogo CX so you can see for yourself.
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us um, at our number there or by email. And thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again soon. In the meantime, you can always connect with us and share your feedback or visit our website, sogosurvey.com. See you next time.